Welcome to the Sage CRM Sales Accreditation course. You are currently viewing Sage CRM Sales Accreditation Module 4, designed for marketing, sales, and implementation employees. This syllabus level is designed for candidates taking Sales Accreditation Level 1. Delegates will gain knowledge of the Sage CRM proposition, its applicability to functional roles within typical businesses, and an ability to demonstrate the product to meet typical business needs. There are four modules at this level of accreditation. Module 1, Understanding and Articulating the Sage CRM Proposition. Module 2, Understanding and Profiling a Prospect. Module 3, Understanding and the Usage of CRM Collateral. And Module 4, Demonstrating the Standard Sage CRM Features. This is the fourth module, that is module number four of the accreditation at level one, designed for people in marketing, sales, and implementation roles. For this module, these are the topics we will be covering. Each topic is made up of a video of approximately 20 minutes in duration. Each topic contains information to build competence and confidence for people within marketing, sales, and implementation roles. Once you've completed each topic, and thus the module, you'll understand the role that customer relationship management concepts play within business, how to knowledgeably speak about and demonstrate competence in the translation of CRM capabilities for any business, and how to successfully articulate the SAGE CRM value proposition. When you've completed the topics, you'll be required to sit an exam, if you wish to gain certification, for the entire module. Here is the topic we're focusing on in this video. It's approximately 20 minutes in duration with information specifically on the overview of the standard product and how you gain access to it. Once you've completed this topic, you should move on to the further topics and thus complete the module. Let's start with an overview of the standard Sage CRM product and how you would gain access to it. Always be sure to check in with the latest public news on the main website at www.sagecrm.com. There, you will find the current product messaging, plus latest customer stories, the feature descriptions for the individual parts of the product, and of course the Sage CRM video channel and the links to the community where there is a lot more information. Similarly, be sure you are a registered community member and read the user area to keep in touch with public-facing discussions. Now, this group is open to all. Anyone can read the content here and registered members can participate in the forums. In addition, by being a member of the community, you can contribute in your own name, thus putting a face to your content and indeed raising your profile on this community. To gain access to material on the community, and if you've not done so already, make sure you sign up following the processes shown on the screen there. What are your options for using and becoming familiar with the product? Well, you can obtain an installation file from your local operating company. We make the core application, the installation files from Dublin, available to local operating companies for each release. This is in the on-premise world. Depending on your local release plans and your local work required towards components for integration, etc., the release schedule and the ways to obtain the release will be communicated to you by local product management teams. You can install this on your local machine, bearing in mind you may also need to obtain license keys for Sage CRM and other components your local operating company will provide you more information. Similar to that method of gaining access to the product, your local operating company may provide you with a demonstration image. This can be obtained and run on your local machine or potentially operated remotely through the cloud, such as a provider of SkyTap shown in this picture here. Please contact your local operating company for more information. If you are faced with installing Sage CRM for the first time, it can be a little daunting. The first thing you need to do is gather together all the information you need and make sure you have access to the latest documentation. The main guides you will need are the following system administrator, installation and upgrade, and support matrix. These are updated for each version of Sage CRM, but you can find these on the community. These guides together will provide you with details of system requirements and minimal hardware. To check the requirements and install the on-premise product, be sure you refer to that community again. There are a number of documents on there, including the installation and requirements and planning guide for system implementation. There are versions available in both partner and user community. 
So be aware that your prospects will have possibly got access to this as well as you. There's also a lot of material supplied with every new release. It's also available in product. So there are things like updated in-product context-sensitive user and system admin help, video channel, community, and other Sage social media pages. You've now reached the end of this first topic in Module 4, Designed for Marketing Sales and Implementation Employees. This topic contained information specifically on how to start successfully using the product. There'll be questions about this topic within the exam, and now you should move on to the further topics in order to complete the module. And once you've completed all the topics, you can sit the corresponding exam and gain credits for this module.